First of all, uh, I just want to congratulate the young women in business for what they've been able to accomplish. A lot of people don't know where these women come from and uh, their credentials, uh, but they come a long way. They've been together for many years and along the way they've been able to accomplish many, many things that other people only dream of. Uh, so I just want to start there because I've seen a lot of people online making silly comments uh, about the new bank that they are trying to establish. Uh, a lot of people talk out of uh, misunderstanding or lack of information and in some stances lack of knowledge. Uh, there's a problem with legal knowledge because it tends to puff people up. So I just want to address a few things that many people are talking about online regarding the establishment of this new bank. First of all, there's nothing wrong with any business going public, asking for public investment uh, in the new business that they're trying to establish. Businesses do that every day. Uh, banks also do that. So there's nothing wrong with this group of ladies going out to the public, asking for public investment in this new business or in this new uh, bank that they're trying to establish. In fact, a lot of banks in South Africa and some part of the world, if you study history, have been established that way. Their determination for success and uh, what they want to do really makes me proud as a South African. So they've demonstrated really what we need here in South Africa. Uh, we need a lot of initiatives like this, a lot of people who can think and put their minds together who can work together to accomplish something. Uh, we have a lot of people whose main occupation is just to criticize what other people are doing. So I'm just making this video to address a couple of concerns or three points that I see that people are struggling with in understanding this concept or even in understanding the presentation that they made to the public. Them going out to the public and asking for investment is not a new thing. All what it means is that the people who are going to take out their money and invest in this new startup business are going to become the shareholders in this business. So these ladies come a long way. Uh, some time ago, they were given a license uh, to operate as a cooperative uh, financial institution. That is similar to what we call a stock fell. And through their activities, they were able to raise among themselves uh, more than 21 million to get to this point where they are. So what they are trying to establish is a mutual bank, the same concept as VPS before it was looted. So I just want to start with the first point of contention that is dominating the discussions online. The first one is this so-called uh, expensive letter. Uh, some people mistake that uh, for a license to operate a bank. That is not the case. Yes, they have received a letter from the Reserve Bank. Uh, all that letter says is that they need to put to things together in place as required by law to establish a commercial bank. So there's a regulation that uh, regulates how the banks should operate. There's uh, uh, reserves that they should have in the bank to operate a bank. There's infrastructure that they need to put in place to operate a bank. All what the, this letter is saying is that now go put together all these couple of things that you've listed here. Put them together to demonstrate to us that you, you are going to be able to comply to regulation then you're gonna, and that you're going to be able to serve your customers and many other things that are required for the bank to operate. So the letter that they have is not a license to operate a bank, but is a sort of authorization for them to put things together in place so that later they can be evaluated to see if they are ready to start a bank or not. Uh, the second problem lies with the, the evaluation that they are giving to this uh, public offering. I think they are out there to get uh, 5 billion. We already know that uh, amongst themselves they own about 56% of the shares and that 
for that 56% of shares that they have spent uh, or invested 21 million. So that the 44% that is left that they're offering to the public ideally should be uh, valued around 15 million. Uh, that is provided the 56% was valued at 21 million. So for them to go out asking for 5 billion, I think is excessive. Obviously they need money to establish the bank to put out the infrastructure that is needed to run a bank. Uh, a lot of money to, is required to put things in place to run a bank uh, successfully. But the valuation of 5 billion is way, way, way over the top. And they've obviously spent, uh, other than the 21 million, they spent uh, a lot of time working on this thing. They've been working on this thing for the past six years, but in my opinion, it still does not warrant the 44% that is being offered to, be, to the public to be valued at um, 5 billion. In, in, in real terms, it should really be valued at uh, about 15 million or so. But obviously, uh, this is a voluntary transaction. Uh, some people may find value in that and see 5 billion as not so much of a bad thing and commit to it. And uh, the third problem that I realize is the, the target market uh, or the market that they are targeting. Uh, they mention uh, the unbanked people, the underserved people and the SMMEs. Uh, that market that they're targeting is a very high risk market. That's why even banks do not easily issue loans in, the, in that space. There's a high failure rate of startup businesses, as uh, everybody knows. Uh, usually about 80% of the businesses will fail in within two years. So that's a risk that banks are not prepared to take. So my point is that if their primary focus is in this segment, then uh, there could be some problems in the future where the investors cannot get their return on investment. But this is something that can be dealt with. They can obviously diversify uh, their target market. They can offer different products uh, for different segments of the market. This is not really, really a big problem. It's something that I think they can work around. Okay, the fourth issue, which maybe some people may say is not a problem. In their presentation, there seems to be a lot of emphasis uh, on women owning and running the operations of this bank. Well, obviously there's nothing wrong with that, but me speaking as an investor, I'm not particularly interested in the gender of the people running the bank. I'm interested in getting my investment back as much as possible. So I think they should not allow uh, this startup thing to be clouded by gender. I think one of these uh, spokespersons uh, uh, from their side already mentioned that there are actually men also involved in this thing. But I just think there's overemphasis of women running and doing this thing, which is not a problem at all, but I just think the emphasis should be more on competent people running the operations. So like I'm saying, when I put my money in a bank, I want it back with interest. I really care less if it's a man or woman running it. So we need, they need to set their priorities right there to get the right people to run the bank and the operations other than uh, basing the whole concept on gender. I think there's really uh, another point that I'm concerned about. So I think those are the four main points of contention uh, on social media. Uh, I think this is a good initiative. We need to support the people who have got this kind of thinking by all means. Uh, we need to, all of us who have this kind of thinking, to establish new businesses, to find ways to raise capital to run those businesses. Every time we are running to banks uh, to try to find money to finance our businesses and we don't get those finances. So it's a good thing that they are approaching the public to buy into this. So it's up to the public to evaluate and see if this is worth a while or not. 
So I really congratulate them uh, for their achievement and uh, I wish them well in this bank that they are trying to establish. And I really think with your support, they really can get this thing off the ground. Obviously, it's possible that they raise the 5 billion that they want and start the operations and fail. Raising that 5 billion also doesn't mean that the bank is going to be a success. You know, it's one thing starting a business and putting up infrastructure required to run a business and it's one thing running a business. So uh, even if they do raise the 5 billion, it doesn't necessarily mean that uh, the bank is going to work out. But I wish them well and uh, I'm really inspired by their efforts and uh, what they've been able to pull through over the past few years they've been together. If you need more information on this issue, I'll recommend a guy by the name of King Penwell. He's on YouTube. Uh, he's done really an in-depth uh, discussion on this issue. He's even also infusing some historical perspective in this discussion. So check him out, uh, King Penwell on YouTube. And do not forget to subscribe here and share and like.